Jocelyn, these are the days when losing your data is fatal to a business. These are the days when customers can't access you, even if it's only for a minute, it can be fatal to a business. So business continuity and disaster recovery and emergency management are extremely critical to businesses of all types, both large businesses and small businesses, schools, banks, you name it. Very important. That's a great question. As a matter of fact, uh, in the United States, uh, particularly financial and uh, finance institutions, their association uh, is recommending that they put their business continuity planning efforts page one on their website so that what they have planned to do in case of an emergency can be known to all of their customers. So yes, I think it's very important that organizations let their customers know that they are in fact resilient and that they will be there when they need them even if a disaster occurs. In the United States we have the, the NFPA 1600 standard and there's a new version for 2010. And it's always been a very good standard for public emergency plans, but now they've included the business impact analysis and certain things from business and I think that one of the best things you can do is, is allow the merger of emergency management and business continuity to occur in your company. For example, I do a great deal of training with companies, teaching their incident management teams how to use the incident command system. And they have found that to be a very welcome addition to their programs. Communication during an emergency is very difficult because the communication systems themselves may be down. So it's very important for employers to train their employees on how to respond in an emergency, how to evacuate the building, how to shelter in place, how to take care of their families, how to communicate with their families. If a building is destroyed and they're all out on the street, how can they let their families know that they're safe, and those types of things. Uh, and those things require exercises and drills. And if, if a company doesn't exercise and drill their emergency plans or their business continuity plans, the employees will never understand what they are to do. They need to practice just like a football team. With natural disasters, uh, most of those are fairly predictable. We know that uh, we get warnings for a hurricane. Uh, we know if we live in an earthquake-prone area, we don't get much warning, but we know we're in an earthquake-prone area. I live in the northeast of the United States where we have ice storms and snowstorms, and so we get uh, warning that those things are coming. Uh, the best thing you can do is to, is to pre have each individual family put together their own family disaster preparedness plan. In any nation, if you think the government is going to save everybody, that's a big mistake. The government is capable, it has lots of resources, but it can't save everybody. You must be able to take care of yourself. So one of the best things that people can do, the lesson I've learned almost everywhere I've been, is that the public needs to be educated as to how to care for themselves for maybe 72 hours after a disaster strikes.